Hello, my name is Margaret Chen, president of the board of the Boston Youth Symphony Orchestras. I am proud and honored to introduce this BYSO tribute to the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. On behalf of Federico Cortese, music director of BYSO, Nicole Carilia, artistic director of the Intensive Community Program, Marta Zarad, the conductor of the Intensive Community Program Orchestra, Catherine Weiskel, our executive director, Gabriel Kolbas, our general manager, and everyone associated with BYSO. We want to welcome you to our annual celebration of the life and legacy of Dr. King. In lieu of a live performance this year, we are pleased to be able to share with you our tribute to Dr. King in our virtual format. We're particularly grateful to Leon Wilson, CEO and president, and Lemarchi Frazier, Director of Education and Interpretation from the Museum of African American History for the invaluable support. For the past 14 years, they have been our partners for this wonderful tribute celebration. The video you are about to see was prepared in collaboration with the museum and features the student musicians of BYSO's Intensive Community Program Orchestra and invited musicians from BYSO. The words of Dr. King and his granddaughter, Yolanda Renee King, are read by both current and alumni members of the BYSO. We're sincerely grateful to our students who made the musical recordings in their homes and to our dedicated music staff who coached and prepared them. We hope you enjoy our celebration of the inspired life of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Thank you. As we celebrate the birthday of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., we are reminded of his words continue to have profound meanings. A Testament of Hope was published after Dr. King's death and presents a summary of his thoughts on related issues of racism, equality, world peace, and social progress. In this essay, Dr. King reminds us that after all of the pain and suffering he experienced, he was still an optimist. But more importantly, he informs us how he remained that way. Dr. King said, People are often surprised to learn that I am an optimist. They know how often I have been jailed, how frequently the days and nights have been filled with frustration and sorrow, how bitter and dangerous are my adversaries. They expect these experiences to harden me into a grim and desperate man. They fail, however, to perceive the sense of affirmation generated by the challenge of embracing struggle and surmounting obstacles. Dr. King said, born particularly in the young generation is the birth of a spirit of dissent that ranged from superficial disavowal of the old values 
to total commitment to wholesale, drastic, and immediate social reform. Yet all of it was dissent. Their voice is still a minority, but united with millions of black protesting voices, it has become a sound of distant thunder increasing in volume with the gathering of storm clouds. Dr. King said, This dissent is America's hope. It shines in the long tradition of American ideals that began with courageous Minutemen in New England, that continued in the abolitionist movement, that reemerged in the populist revolt, and decades later that burst forth to elect Franklin Roosevelt and John F. Kennedy. Dr. King said, Today's dissenters tell the complacent majority that the time has come when further vision of social responsibility in a turbulent world will court disaster and death. America has not yet changed because so many think it need not change. Dr. King said, America must change because 23 million plus black citizens will no longer live supinely in a wretched past. They have left the valley of despair. They have found strength in struggle, and whether they live or die, they shall never crawl nor retreat again. Joined by white allies, they will shake the prison walls until they fall. America must change. of Yolanda Renee King. My generation has already taken to the streets peacefully and with masks and socially distanced to protest racism. And I wanna ask the young people here to join me in pledging that we have only just begun to fight and that we'll be the generation that moves from me to we. We are going to be the generation that dismantles systemic racism once and for all, now and forever. We are going to be the generation that calls a halt to police brutality and gun violence, once and for all, now and forever. 
We are going to be the generation that reverses climate change and saves our planet once and for all, now and forever. And we are going to be the generation that ends poverty here in America, the wealthiest nation on earth, once and for all, now and forever. We are the great gems of our grandparents, our great grandparents and all our ancestors. We stand and march for love, and we will fulfill my grandfather's dream. So, show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. <laughs>